Hey everyone, Carl here with Trial Byte Studios, and as we wind down the month of October, we've found a terrifying cryptid that we feel will max out the Scarometer. This is a monster from Scottish lore. The Scarometer finally hits a 10 as we take a look at the man-eating horse, the Kelpie. Scotland. A rugged land. A land of myth. A land of legend. A land of heroes and monsters. Scotland is a part of the British Isles, and makes up a large part of the greater United Kingdom. Attached to the northern part of England, Scotland sports a chilly, wet climate, and is full of mountains, moors, and forests. It's a harsh land, and has bred some of the toughest people on the planet, fighting men and women who are unafraid of almost everything. Like Jack Churchill, who stormed the beaches of France on D-Day in the Second World War with a broad sword. Yes, I'm serious. So what on earth could possibly scare people such as these? The answer is the Kelpie. The Kelpie, or Water Kelpie, is a shape-shifting aquatic cryptid that hails from Scotland. Its name may be derived from the Scottish Gaelic word, meaning heifer or colt. Kelpie are said to be man-eating water horses, which haunt the many lakes and rivers of the Scottish Highlands. Kelpie are said to have shape-shifting abilities, and most commonly, take the form of a tame, beautiful pony or horse. They stalk the areas around their killing pools in that form in order to attract their favorite prey, children. The children, enthralled at the sight of a tame, beautiful pony, will naturally want to hop on its back for a little ride. However, once the children mount the back of the Kelpie, the beast's skin becomes a sticky trap, and the Kelpie dashes towards its drowning pool plunging headlong into the deep water in order to drown their hapless prey before devouring the child's flesh. Kelpies have also been known to transform into young, beautiful maidens in hopes of attracting larger, older prey. One story of a Kelpie attack focuses on a group of ten Scottish children. The children were out playing one day when they came across a beautiful black horse near the village river. Fascinated and mesmerized by the horse, all but one child approached the animal. Then, one by one by one by one, all of the nine children climbed upon the Kelpie's back. The tenth child, a boy, the one who had not approached the horse, watched helplessly as the beast transformed into its true terrifying form. The other children, now realizing that they were stuck to the back of a Kelpie, screamed in terror and tried to free themselves but it was hopeless. They were trapped, soon to be devoured by the ravenous beast. The final child looked on in sheer terror as the beast turned to face him. The Kelpie had not run into the water, as expected. No, instead, it had other plans. Instead of running to the deep water to drown its prey, the monster charged the final child, looking to add one more to its dinner. The boy turned on his heel and ran as fast as his legs could carry him, he could feel the heavy breathing of the Kelpie down his back as he sprinted towards his village, the ravenous beast's maw mere inches from his back, and just as the monster was ready to strike him, he dashed into the safety of the village. Halting its assault, the Kelpie relented, letting the boy survive, and returning to its watery home, with nine little screaming meals attached to its back. Like I said at the start of the video, Scotland is a land of monsters but it is not without its heroes. Rumors that the clan of McGregor once captured a Kelpie by jumping on the creature's back, grabbing its bridle, and holding on as the Kelpie tried to knock the rider off. After breaking the Kelpie to the rider's will, the clan found out that the Kelpie is stronger than 10 horses and makes a great war mount. Legends say that the family has passed down this bridle for generations, but no one will confirm it. So there it is everyone, the final Cryptid and Cryptid Month. We really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let us know which Cryptid was your favorite with a comment. Leave a like if you feel so inclined, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. This is Carl, signing off.